Hey everyone, welcome to this Gaming. Please like and subscribe. I release content every day. Today we're playing Space Commander War and Trade. So the last episode was titled <laughs> End of the Line. Because I thought that was the end, and it might be. But uh, I also kind of went back here and I just decided to take a look around because I didn't want it to be the end. So we're going over here to New London. That's where our quest objective says to land. And so our ships are all just brutalized from going through all those, the jump gates and going back and forth and stuff. So hopefully they'll repair us here. And then after this, I figure, you know, if there isn't something really significant here, we can just go and uh, kill some syndicate bases. Everything looks clear. No bandits in sight. And, yep. Well, Diana, you have your jump gate. You almost defeated me. Do you feel like a winner? What did you manage to pull off? <laughs> how did you turn all of the planets against Concordia? Do you know how one measures power? Army size, number of ships, political influence? No, Diana. Knowledge is power. That is right. Knowing is half the battle. I warned your errand boy that he would become involved in something that he does not understand. He is just a pilot, but I had higher hopes for you. Wow, you must have been a book called... Okay, I read a book called How to Give Ominous and Villainous Speeches for Dummies. <laughs> That's actually a good line. Mock me if you will, but at the end of the day, I get back my Cobra and Lighthouse stations, and then there will be a slight shift in power. Would you care to take a bet? What did you do? Damn it, what did you do? The funny part is absolutely nothing. It's all on you, actually. Tazaki has opened a portal built on blueprints from an alien civilization. You let him, or you let him open Pandora's box, believing in some mythical promised land. But I studied the artifact. I knew the danger it could bring. I knew that from the beginning. That's why military advanced... Oh, militarily advanced Theta should be controlling the jump gate. Not some doves of peace protected by Boy Scouts. What are you saying? Just just ask Tazaki one question. Did he make contact? He'll understand what that means. If he says yes, then all of humanity will have to play on the same team. But only I will know the rules of the game. I swear to God, if you were lying... Good luck, Diana. <laughs> Bye! You were a good opponent, but not good enough. I respect you, though. Cornwell was trained. A fine pilot, I'm sure... We're also trained to find a pilot. That's us, I think. I'm sure that our paths will cross again in the near future. Pilot, take me to Bastille. I need to talk to Tazaki. Okay, how about if you repair my ships? So, Bastille is our... It's a player-controlled station. It's one of the six that you can get. I'm going to change ships here. Chain, <laughs> change ships here. There we go. A little, little less squirrely. Oh. Oh, there. Okay, good. There are the two. Whew. Those are the two syndicate bases I was talking about. At least my that's my impression of what they are. Beautiful. Spamming L. There we go. Where's Tazaki? I don't know. He took a ship and I lost him from the radar after he flew through the jump gate. What? Where? I don't know. He just mentioned meeting new friends. Diana, I've just received a memo from the new Concordia CEO that Dell says, relieved from duty of protecting you and we need to withdraw all forces from Theta's facilities. What? I don't... It's not possible. Who is the new CEO? I don't know. I'm sorry, Diana. Excuse me. I need to make some calls. What do we do now? There isn't much we can do. Let's enjoy our freedom and wait for what's coming next. So who is going to take me... Okay, through the jump gate. I'm too old for this. Um... So we take me on a journey into the unknown, countless star systems. Yeah, we already did that. <laughs> we, <laughs> we already did that. That was the first thing we did once we knew we could do it. Okay, and now let's look at the quest log. Go to the jump gate and discover new star systems. I wonder if there will be anything there this time. Um, shoot. I kind of want to repair the ships, but we don't have enough. Okay, let's just take a quick detour. Where's okay, Saturn? Here's... Oh, but the, the jump gate's complete. They're not going to need any more ship parts. You know, forget about it. We're just going to go do it right now. But okay, so yeah. Here's here's my thought process. So we're going to go through the jump gate. All of our ships are at like 8% health or something, right? I mean, basically a few shots and they're dead. However, we still have... We still maintain the advantage probably in numbers and technology of our ships. They're all fully upgraded. So we're just going to... We're just going to take a chance here. We're going to encounter aliens, right? 
I mean, that's that's the that whole dialogue was. That's why I read that one. It was kind of like it seemed more important. Okay, good deal. Okay, and then I I, I need to. I want to go over here to Tao Seti. No, you know what? I think we're going to save this exploration for another time. Uh, we're going to go back and we're going to take out those syndicate bases because we can. So every time you travel through that, you take damage. Regardless. I, I thought maybe something had changed. I was wrong. Now we're going to go over here. Are they not... Oh, lame. They're not hostile anymore. Okay, well, what's our quest? How about that? No active mission. Oh, lame. That is the end of the line, isn't it? Okay, well, let's go over here. We're going to check uh, Titan Station and see how many... <laughs> How many ship parts we have? Probably a ton. This is flight control. Docking access granted. Warehouse, not as many as I hoped. Baxon, our ships are coming apart at the rivets, and you want to give me fuel instead of repairs. I see. So I'm just thinking here. Let's um. We're going to take one ship. We're going to go to the hangar. We're going to take our trusty Viper. Let's see, which one is this? This has a rocket pod. Um, yeah, that works. And leave everyone here. You know what? <clears throat> one thing you could do as a player here is... I'm just going to repair all. Who cares? Is um troll the pirates. <laughs> you just fly around with like fifteen hour or like you know longer flights wherever you're going and bring all your transport vessels and then every time the pirates come you just blast them. Wasted. So let's go let's go over here. Um to this let's see what we can do. So Louis Ten I had someone comment on one of the videos in this series a few days ago, and they were talking about since the end of the main campaign, it got boring for them. And now they're trying to buy all the stations, and then the Tau City campaign is difficult. So arrive at Luton. Good, good. So this is, I think, where that one starts, that other campaign. And so I'm just trying to think here, like, what else can a person do in this game? So let's come over here. This seems like a bustling hub of activity. Over, we're gonna go over to Matt's. Buyable, okay. So I've mentioned a few times now, I looked on the developer's website in their FAQ section, there, and they have publicly posted uh, six stations that are purchasable by the player. And I'm not sure if they account for both solar systems. So I mean like uh, space stations, I think I just said systems, but I meant space stations, there are six controllable by the player. I'm not sure if they account for more than just outside of Sol. But yeah, so to buy this station is 32,000 credits, and what would that get us? Let's see. I can't go to the map here. Wait, this is... The opportunity to say the Corp is at war with United Earth. Oh, no. 100 credits to risk my life? No, thanks. I want to see what this station makes. Oh, production. Water ore and three... Or wa water or water and three metal ores. See, so this is the kind of thing where like a person could automate the the money system if, or based on the assumption that you would be able to make a transportation line go through a jump gate, because that's one of the resources that we need on Titan in the Soul system um, for making the ship parts. We we need 
We need water and oxygen, and those are the only two things that are not automated. So if we came out here and we bought systems, or bought stations, sorry, electronics. Yeah, and if we, if we were to be able to buy stations with raw materials and transport through jump gates, then the money would just happen on its own. There have been a few times. It takes a little bit, and it's like a click storm. It's because, I mean, you're clicking over 200 times per resource to get it up to, like, 200 uh, base levels at Hera Station. I'm not seeing any other purchasable ones. Oh, there's one. Oxygen and water? What? Well, now I have to know. Hold, please. Okay, welcome back, and thanks for holding. Here we are. Uh, it took a little bit. Um, actually, a lot longer than I thought, but you can see I made the money, and the reason it took longer was there was a video that I made before, and it was in, it was titled something like, this is how I make money, how do you do it? And I basically just outlined how I do it, which I'm pretty sure is common. It wasn't like some gem, you know, thing where like a, the diamond in the rough. It was just like, this is how I'm doing it, and it's working really well, um, and I got some input. We made this space station system based on the input from the Ven dude, and um, yeah, so anyway, that's why it took so long. I basically had to like research, re-research where the places were that would consistently buy the parts, uh, because the ones from that one video before, they were not there anymore. Anyhow, let's get into this. So we have enough money to buy the space station. Um, and then see if we can completely automate this whole process. But then in, in the interim, I kind of got lost in playing the game. Um, <laughs> and I saw some squirrels and started chasing them around. So one of them was, right here, we have this huge surplus of chemicals. And we need chemicals to make some things. What do we need chemicals for? Let's check it out. So our station, we need chemicals for electronics. We need chem... No, that's it, just electronics. Okay. And then let's see, the ship parts, we need... One hardware. So you can see just from this right here that the metal parts. The metal parts are definitely the choke point in this whole thing. So anyhow, we have a bunch. We have a bunch of extra chemicals. And we're just going to go ahead and construct this module, Space Suits Factory. I was able to go out and sell chemicals for between like 80 and 120 each, but it's a lot. That's a lot of chemicals to just go out and sell a bunch of, and it would take some time. So we're gonna see if this will work. Congratulations. The new module has been added to your station. We're just gonna see how this does. I've, I've kind of like been paying attention to it, and from my experience, oh wait, undock. Yes, in my experience, spacesuits are pretty, they're a really common commodity, and they're, it's pretty saturated. Frankly, I don't think it's going to do that well. We just have so much extra that I don't see how it could hurt. And now I'm coming out here for, okay, it's not quite complete. The whole time I've been kind of wanting to, like, see a complete space station for no real good reason, but just other than just uh, the fact that we can do it. So let's check this out. I found these other planets. Oh, we need, oh shoot, we need, uh, we need fuel, Baxton, I've been kind of neglecting to refuel. Baxton hasn't been coming through very much. Okay, and so we're going to go out here. Yeah, so this is, here's one, basically I did the same thing I did before, I found, uh, four stations where I could consistently go back and like just do a loop and sell them and each time I would go back after a little while they would be out of the space or the ship parts and they would buy more at full price which is 428 so if I don't buy them for any more than 300 so it starts at about 240 or something and then as you buy more the price goes up oh I just used them all. no way anyway so here here's one of the stations I thought we'd be able to offload some more stuff. Not the case. So instead of stopping at these, it was a uh, Piranha I'd go to first, and then Jupiter, and then I'd go to Terra Vita, and then Mercury again. Mercury was a good, a good place, and I think we've also used uh, Terra Vita before. Anyhow, let's get this underway. We're just gonna take 
No, we're going to take the fighter ships. Dang it. <laughs> we're going to drop all of the transport ships off. And the reason for that is so that we can take our time, run up that clock, see how many... See if we can reach the cap. The game's cap for time played. Uh, In-game time. And then also so we can just conserve fuel and not... Not, uh... Have to go so fast. Let's see. I'm just gonna take a... I'll take a try at it. Frankly, it doesn't even matter. It doesn't matter at all. Because it looks dumb. That's why. <laughs> Okay, let's go. So, we're going out to that other system. I forget what it's called. It starts with an L. Yeah, Louis 10. We're going to go out here. Boop, 296. You can see we're really racking up the days here. 828. If I would have started... Wait, come on. Yeah, if I would have started from the very beginning, we'd be over 1,000. I'm sure it's... I mean, like a million, you know, is the cap. We're probably not going to reach it. Uh, I don't have any delusion about that, but... Okay, and so there was one station out here where they produced, you know, oxygen and water that was purchasable. Oxygen and water. And then what we're going to do is just go buy it and then see if we can uh, set up transport lines to Harris Station where we are producing, like, secondary goods out of oxygen and water. Here, let's just go here. 32,000. Yup, do it. Congratulations. See, that's weird. Before, when we put a module on uh, the station at Titan, it just said, congratulation. And so I, sometimes I feel like, okay, there's kind of a language barrier. English is not their first language. Your warehouse. And then sometimes it's pretty obvious that, like, they are fluent. Anyhow, Transport lines, automatic transports becomes available when you own two or more stations with a consistent supply chain. No way. For example, one station produces oxygen and the other generates demand for it. Both stations must be in the same system. Oh, God, I forgot that. <laughs> that totally sucks. Brutal. Brutal. Okay, well, that's fine. Now we know we cannot do it. Uh, we could probably buy... I'm just thinking here. So, I think what we could do is probably rep... Since we can have the raw materials here, we might be able to replicate these the, the space station system that we have set up in Seoul. So, that would be interesting. Let's just take a look at that real quick. Oh, wait. I wish. And so, how many are buyable here? Uh, not seeing a lot. Not looking promising. They produce spacesuits. So this could be the equivalent of huh, of the, the Titan station, right? So like one of the stations. Shoot, we could even set this station up. What we need, though, are the raw materials. That's, that's the constraint here. Pretty sure the raw materials are metal ores. There's one. Electronics. Ooh, that would be handy. But, I mean, we can set up anywhere to to make electronics, right? Okay, so we know we can get metal order ores. Let's go back to our station here. And let's check this out. Ground crew is ready. Welcome home. Okay, so your station. Go to modules. I like how, how few there are here. It gives us a lot of room to work with without... Too much clutter. Okay. Oh, so we can... we can. Oh, man. So we can just get more even faster. Okay. Good to know. So for ship parts... Shoot. We can't make it? Okay. Well, that's interesting. What is this? Pi okay, pirates. That's kind of cool. There's an actual pirate base. I'm wondering if it's just a syndicate or if it's other pirates. 
Now I want to go here and check this out. Maybe we can make ship parts here. And that's all we're looking for. Looking for the ability to make ship parts in this station or this system. And then we're going to... Whoops. Oh, shoot. Buy the, you have to buy the station first. Um, well, I'm getting, I'm getting kind of lost and distracted here, so I'm going to call this one. This is Space Commander Warren Trade. Thank you for watching Atlas Gaming. I do appreciate it. Frankly, I'm just trying to milk as much out of this campaign playthrough as I can. You know, just I think everyone has that feeling, right? You you put so much time in, you got skin in the game, kind of, and, and then it suddenly comes to an abrupt end with really unsatisfying endgame play. Um, which would at this point just be quests and things, and we've kind of figured out how to make money, right? I'm sure everyone has in their own game. Um, we have at least one station, possibly two, you know, per per person. I just mean like in an individual's game, not this one. And so, yeah, that's all I'm trying to do here is just maximize my playthrough, but I think it might be rapidly coming to an end. So, again, thanks for watching Atlas Gaming. I'm going to see what I can do in this station, see if we can completely automate the money-making, and I'm going to start the other campaign. So, please like and subscribe. I release content every day. See you in the next one.